And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, Tom Vassell here, and today we're talking about Tumble Tree. This is a dexterity-style game from Blue Orange Games in which you're stacking tree cards on top of the actual container for the game, the can. Let me show you. All right, folks, the actual container for the game, which is kind of has this flat lid here, which is going to be used as the top of the tree. This is where all the cards are going to be kept. And so this is going to be placed in the middle of the table. The cards, which as you can see, have kind of a, I don't know, a, a rippled edge to them. They're going to be divided evenly between all the players. On a player's turn, you're going to decide whether you're going to play one, two, or three cards. So I'll say, I'll do two. So I'm going to draw two cards from my pile, and then I need to play each of these. So the, the bees, I can put anywhere on the tree. So as you put cards in a tree, you can see you can like let them lean off. But the part about the bee is no animal card can touch the bee card from now. Only foliage and flower cards can cover it, which is going to make it, I'm going to put it over here, because otherwise I'd have a hard time putting my, my snake on the tree. So snake was, has put it between two cards on the edge of the tree, with the ground part hanging off. So you see there's a ground part, I need to put it off, but I can't put it between two animals. So this one's a penalty and I gotta take it in front of me in a penalty pile. So there's different cards. Flowers are pretty simple. Flowers can be put on the edge of the tree with the ground part hanging off. There's no restriction about putting flowers on top of bees, so I'm gonna try to cover those up. Uh, but then of course, more bees. Here we have a monkey. A monkey has to hang off the tree so basically the monkey and a flower are very similar, but the ground part needs to hang off the tree. Uh, the chameleon is essentially going to act like the last card that was played. So this is another monkey, and so if it is a monkey, then this part here acts as if it was the ground. The problem is those bees. If you make any cards fall off, they go into your penalty pile. Now there is just foliage cards. You can put those anywhere you want on the tree. Those cards are pretty easy to put out. Uh, you've already seen the bees and the snakes. There's also the toucan. This one you're gonna toss like a disc at the tree. Okay, that wasn't very good. Then there is the bat. The bat, you're gonna drop it up from above the tree with your eyes closed. Oh, that one actually landed. That's very nice in there. Then we have the, the leopard. This one you're gonna slam it from a foot down. So it's like that. That wasn't very useful. <laughs> I made three cards fall that get added to my pile. But really, and I'm kind of ignoring the rules here briefly, but I want to show you that you really can make this tree kind of grow as time goes by, and it really will stretch out pretty hard. And you can see it has a really nice visual effect too here as you're placing these cards. So the goal of the game is to have the fewest cards. When one person runs out of cards in their draw pile, it ends. At that time, each player will count all the cards in their draw pile and all the cards in their penalty pile, and whoever has the most cards, or the fewest cards, is the winner of the game. Now, interestingly enough, this game is very similar to a, another game, Garbage Day, from Mayday Games, in which that game comes in a garbage can, and you put the cards on top of it. Uh, six of one, half dozen of the other. There's some things I like about both. Now, what the Mayday Garbage Day game did, which I really liked, was there were holes in the cards. And so those holes had to be off the edge and you would need to be able to see through those holes, small holes in each card. This doesn't have that, so you could run into the thing where you're like, no, that the, the brown part is off the tree. Are you sure? Now, the advantage that this game has, though, is, well, first of all, it's a beautiful production. It's blue-orange. But secondly, what the different cards do. You're throwing a card. You're slamming a card down. You're doing it blindfolded. There's the bees. Other animals can't touch them. And that, that's cool, but also the visual effect of the tree. You saw there at the end when I placed all the cards in the tree, how it just kind of grows and blossoms. And that's neat, and I think kids will enjoy that. Uh, the game is 
a dexterity game. You're stacking cards. It's a pretty good idea, right? Stack of cards. It's easier to carry around than maybe a pile of blocks or, you know, like Jenga or whatever. But if you like Jenga-esque style games, this one's going to do it for you also. This It's mostly for kids, this game. It's kind of geared toward them, but adults could play and it would make a good family game. The animals and artwork are fun. The whole thing is quick, painless to, to play and painless to, to take up, set up and take down too. And it all fits in that can. So it's a unique product in that regard. Like I said, it's very similar to Garbage Day. You, I don't think you would need to own both in your collection, but for kids, we'll take Garbage Day out of the equation. For kids, this is the one I would recommend. It looks pretty, it has fun animals, and it's sometimes a way they can beat dad and mom in the game. Dice Tower Judgment approved. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door! Yeah. Yeah.